All right, Vapor Roos, and today we're going to be reviewing. Every man and his dog's done this, by the way. The iStick 30 watt sub ohm. <laughs> in the box um well let me show you okay so i have this in black and have been using it a while but i thought i'd put it in the box just to show you there you go so you get your your battery or your mod should i say very pretty and petite ignore this i have massive hands just to let you know and then behind there, you pull out all the relevant packaging. You got your USB cable in a box, keeps it tidy. You've got your little converter thingy for the, um, I believe it's for like the C4 tanks and stuff like that. And you have got the world's smallest user manual. Okay, so uh, so we got warranty information and the properties and blah de blah de blah. Okay, so that's what's in the box. One thing I will say is actually the charging cable is quite long, and I believe there's a good reason for that. The main reason being when you're charging. You've got that much length, you can still vape off this thing, which is good. Um, it takes, it's a 20, 2200 milliamp hour battery and it takes roughly about two and a half hours to charge. Um, it goes all the way up to 30 watt, I believe it's, if I just take it right down, taking it right down, can you see that? Not really. Right, it goes down to 5 watts, so 5 watts all the way up to 30, which is great. Um, it can power from 0.4 ohms all the way up to, I'm lost now, I think, I think it must be the high twos. Um, I will double check and I will put it on the description below. Uh, all in all... Nice little device, fits in the hand quite well. You got this lip for the uh, 22 mil tanks and uh, and RDAs. Um, but yeah, I was really excited when I got it. It's a beautiful bit of kit. Uh, one thing that everybody in their reviews do point out, if you can see that there, the center pin. Now, if I get my little screwdriver set out, it's sprung loaded. Now, I've seen so many reviews of people just pushing it down. So, I'm not going to do that. Um, yeah, I am. Anyway, yeah, so, so it's variable wattage and variable voltage, it's a five click on and off, if I click it, that's four times, if I click it three times, it goes to voltage, three times again, it goes to wattage. Now the good thing about this, and I like this feature on this, if I click it five times to turn it off, and then I press these two together, it actually flips the display. Turn it back on. See, the display's upside down. Which is good. I don't know why I like it. I just do. Um, right, so let's see how this bad boy vapes. Um, I have got... What I'm going to be using is... 
Da, da, da. My trusty troll. I've got 0 0.8 build on it. Dual coil. 28 gauge campful. With some organic cotton. And the juice I'm using is Vapor Fog's Bumbleberry, which I uh which I done a review for in the last video, and I'm loving. Absolutely loving. So let's just juice that up. Let's just fire this up. It's on 20 watts at the moment. So that's alright. Let's give this burn at 20 watts. Yep, yeah, that's not hitting it for me. Let's go to 25. That's a bit better. That is a bit better, but I always, I, I don't know why, I just love to vape at 30. And that's a 0 0.8 coil. That's good. Vapes well. Vapes very well on the RDAs. Let's try my Atlantis. Again, it's got the bumbleberry in. Let's see what this is like. I'm going to knock it down to about 25 and then we're going to work our way up and find my sweet spot. Um, this Atlantis has got the modified airflow on. I've basically taken the... Uh, the air restriction ring off. So we've got full airflow. See, that's quite nice at 25 watts, but let me go all the way up to 30 again. Get a nice sweet taste. And that, that at 30 watts. Seems to be a lot more powerful than the uh, the Aspire CF mod, and this is a brand new battery in here. Yeah, so I don't know what wattage this is outputting it at, but this. This is just my all day mod now. And that bumbleberry is good. Um, <coughs> I think they retail at about £35. You get them in all the popular vape shops. Uh, it's nice. I say that lip's good because you sort of tuck your finger under it really really aids sort of the design or you can have it the other way easier fun to push if there is one one minor issue with it and you probably saw it in my last review or the first review i done with the um with the custard and i went to fire it and it didn't fire um i thought i missed a button but i hadn't if i touch the top corner of the button it doesn't fire for some reason I push the whole button, it does, so it's not an issue. Um, but it's just a just a great device. The good thing about this is you can power pretty much anything down to point four. So you can have your uh, Nautilus on here, or any sort of tanks with the higher end coils. You just need to reduce your wattage to around about eleven watts on a. 1.8 is what I found my sweet spot to be. Um, yeah, so that's it. The E Leaf Eye Stick. Toodles!